In 1985, Rotary International committed to a goal of ending polio worldwide. Very soon now, after immunizing over 2 billion children, the goal will be achieved. Rotary. Humanity in motion. that summertime is over and school's back in session. This is a really easy French bread pizza that you can make uh, on those busy nights when you're rushed, when you're coming in from work and from school. Uh, but it can also be a fun family night. Uh, if you have a family game night or a, a night that your whole family really gets together and does an activity, this can be something fun for that as well. <music> For today's recipe, you'll need frozen French bread toast, an assortment of pizza topping meats, sauces, and vegetable, and then of course some mozzarella cheese. You can see we have a an wide variety of ingredients, uh, lots of veggies. That's one thing that I really want to stress whenever you're doing French bread pizzas. Really think about some of those veggies that you can uh, add in there. We're going to start with uh, the frozen French bread pizzas, or frozen French bread. We're going to turn those French bread into pizza. Uh, and you can get any of the canned tomato so or, uh, pizza sauces. Uh, start with that. And some people like a lot of sauce, some people like a little. That's one of the good things about making your own, is you can really play with that, how much you like. We'll do one, a traditional uh, tomato sauce, and then you can also find the uh, cream sauces or the Alfredo sauces. And those are kind of fun to add variety. You know, uh, sometimes having a variety on the dinner table really helps. The other thing that really helps is having everybody make their own. Sometimes I know uh, moms feel like short order cooks. Well, this is one of the ways that you can turn them into the short order cook. Let them decide what to put on their pizzas. Um, we'll do some pepperoni on this one. Another thing with doing the smaller pizzas is that you can really uh, control the amount of meat. You know, meat is one of the most expensive things on our grocery bill. And uh, by doing smaller portions of meat, we can really cut back. And I know people are starting to look into that. Another thing that uh, whenever we start with our veggies, kind of think outside the box on veggies. We know what goes on Supreme Pizzas, but we've got some broccoli here, some spinach, uh, some fresh tomatoes. Use Roma tomatoes, not the slicing. They work a lot better. Um, let's see, I think I'm going to put some broccoli on this one. Maybe add a little mushrooms. What I find on these French bread pizzas is that there's, they're not quite big enough for everything I want. Um, maybe a few fresh tomatoes. And then maybe on our pepperoni, we'll do some peppers. A little bit of black olives. And then, of course, top it off with uh, mozzarella cheese. Now, that's another thing that you can really play with. You can use cheddar cheese. Uh, you can use any of the others. I kind of prefer the mozzarella cheese simply because it is one of our lower fat cheeses. And so we can cut back a little bit on fat there. I'm going to keep making up. You can make eight of these pizzas. And so uh, if you have some bigger eaters in your family, then two of those uh, can make a good meal or a good serving. You can see we've got all of our little pizzas made. There's different ingredients on all of them. Uh, and so that way you can have a lot of variety. Another tip for these is uh, all of your fresh veggie ingredients, go ahead and cut those up ahead of time. Uh, they're good to have on hand for any night for when you're cooking. Uh, if you need a little bit of uh, bell pepper, it's already cut up and ready. If you need a little bit of onion, already cut up and ready. Tomatoes are ready for a salad. Uh, anything that you can have prepared ahead of time 
That way on those busy nights you just throw it out there, everybody uh, fixes their own, and you're ready to go. These are going to pop in the oven. We're going to cook them for about six to eight minutes. Uh, we want the cheese melted, all those flavors to blend, uh, and we're ready for a good, healthy, nutritious meal. We've gotten our French bread pizzas out of the oven. You can see they're golden brown on top, just the way we want them. Now be sure you remember which pizza is yours as you put it on the pan because once we get it out of the oven, they do look a little different. Like I said, anytime you can eat at home, eat uh, better together, uh, it's more nutritious and it's also lower in cost. Now you can see this is a very simple dinner. Throw it together, put some fresh veggies and a side salad, and you have a really nutritious meal for you and your family. Remember, keep introducing those veggies in different ways and your family will eat more of them. Be sure to come back to the Food Corner, part of Newstar.com, for more demonstrations and recipes. And if you have any questions, contact the Pottawatomie County OSU Extension Office. We'd like to send a great thanks to Rock Creek Baptist Church for letting us use their facilities today. And remember, eat better, eat together.